Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Valiverse Action Force Series 4 Urban Commando, as well as the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard. So this is more of a true builder pack, kind of generic character, not like really a named character. But um, don't let the box fool you. While it doesn't get the awesome card back that the Urban Commando and that the Steel Brigade figures had gotten, it's a basic, you know, windowless box here. It still comes packed with a bunch of accessories though. This guy has three heads in total, one weapon, and two, three, four total sets of hands. So there's a whole lot going on in this little box there. There is a bio, if you wanna read that, you can pause it now to take a look. So there is a lot that's going on in here. And then the Urban Commando is stacked with accessories. He's got two head sculpts, an extra helmet. He's got a weapon, it looks like a piece that will connect onto the helmet there. He's got interchangeable hands. There's some additional accessories and stuff in there too. Just all kinds of packed out. So these guys are 30 bucks. These guys are 20 bucks. 20 bucks for an army builder figure. Um, that is pretty good. Again, three sets of heads, four total sets of hands. He's got one weapon, and it does, of course, have the Action Force uh, action figure stand included in there. Big shout out and thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for sending these over. Make sure to check out uh, bbts.com, bigbadtoystore.com uh, for all your Valorverse Action Force needs. Links in the video description below. Both of these figures are available in stock right now, as well as the Steel Brigade figures. Uh, so we'll get into getting to that. And the awesome thing about this is the Steel Brigade figure and this Arctic Warfare Republic Guard will go really well together. Uh, but I wanted to bring these two together because I wanted to focus on those two Steel Brigade figures because of just how good those figures are. So let's go ahead and get into it and check these ones out. I'm going to have to rip that thing off the card. I love the card. But I'm going to have to do it for the figure. Um, one thing, this gas mask head sculpt right here might be one of the best damn head sculpts um, it, I've seen in a, a very long time. Because it is amazing. you got the visor in there. the um, And you could see the face inside the visor. And the crazy thing is they actually have head packs where it comes to like five, ten heads total for like 20 bucks. And it's got a few of these guys here. So it's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and get into it and take a look at the figure uh, with that Urban Commando first because, hey, it's like, kind of like a G.I. Joe uh, classified Firefly, but probably a little bit better of an action figure, to be honest. This was a second Firefly that I had to get because half of them were all like loosey-goosey. And this one's still a little loose. Uh, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so actually as part of the unboxing, uh, removing this figure, basically the figure is in a Ziploc bag there, and then the accessories are all together in a Ziploc bag as well. So that's how these ones are packed. Okay, so here we have the two Action Force figures out of the package. And this troop builder, the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard, man, this thing is pretty awesome. It's essentially the same exact body that you would see with, like, Steel Brigade. It does have different knees, though. The knee uh, the knee pads are different. But the base body is actually the same. So all the arms, the legs, the hands, all of that is the exact same. It's just the knees are different, obviously a different head sculpt. So we'll actually get a better view of kind of what the artic articulation is really like without the rubber overlay vest on there. The very first Steel Brigade figure, I had removed the vest and it was extremely difficult to get back on. I've heard that they have improved and they have become easier to put back on. So with the Urban Commando, I'm going to be very curious. I'm actually going to remove that vest from him so we could take a look. But I believe that figure is also essentially the same as this uh, Troop Builder here. Now, the true builders are 10 bucks less. Still 20 bucks. You get a lot of stuff with it. You get the figure, you get a weapon, you get uh, three extra sets of hands, and you get two extra head sculpts. That's a lot for 20 bucks. That is pretty good. The $30 one goes into high, like overdrive, right? So we get multiple weapons. We got the handgun that's already holstered. We got the two additional magazines that are already um, holstered as well. There is a knife on the back of the on the back of the figure as well. We get the 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 large weapon there. We get an extra head sculpt, two extra head sculpts. We get a helmet. We get a backpack, and then we get all like the same hands. So for thirty bucks, you're getting a whole lot. Now this guy comes with even more than the Steel Brigade figures had come with. So he's got a lot going for it. So that one's definitely an awesome one. Uh, so we're going to take a look at him first because, again, really cool. And you can use them like if you want a better, uh, you know, Firefly figure for your G.I. Joe classified series. You know, the Urban Commando could be a good uh, stand-in if, you, you know, you're not happy with the, the Hasbro version. So let's get in for the closer look at the Valiverse Action Force. And I'm really excited to show you guys this head sculpt because, man, this thing is good. Okay, so here is our up-close look at the Urban Commando. This is the, the the head sculpt that comes on the figure actually out of the package. And man, it looks really good. It is the same, however, as far as like the Royal Guard 
uh, the Arctic Warfare Royal Guard. It's the same head sculpt that you come on there. We get two different ones. So you have the two different skin tones uh, there, which is a nice touch. And then we also get a helmet and the other head sculpt that's going to come along with it, which we'll show here pretty shortly. Uh, but this thing comes packed out with a bunch of stuff. So first we'll take a look at the weapons. This is the gun that he comes um, in the package, as you can see there. It looks really good. We get some green um, in there. I think it's going to be the black plastic and then the green is painted on. The magazine is... Uh, nice bright silver in there. It does remove. It is in there nice and snug. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to fall off or anything. And we do get some silver paint in there. So that looks really good. He does have the sidearm, which was already holstered in the figure on his right leg. I had already removed it. Uh, we get two additional magazines there on the left leg. You can remove those. They are in there pretty snug. He also has a knife on the back. So a nice silver uh, color for the blade. And then the handle itself is black. We're going to go ahead and sheath that back there. While we're at it, he does come with a backpack, as you can see here. This is one of the accessories that's kind of hidden away in a baggie. At first, I was thinking, man, that peg doesn't look good. It should be straight out. But I think that's actually by design because when you do that, it sits flush better on the back of the figure. So I think that was done on purpose. If not, I think it works out a whole hell of a lot better actually because boom, it fits on there and it looks a little bit more natural looking as opposed to like the, the classified series. I think some of those backpacks look pretty bad the way they looked and it's a toy like how much better can you get? Turns out, I guess you could because that little bend, again, I don't know if it was intentional or if mine was just warped, but I think it works out for the better because bam, look at the way that looks. Uh, but I want to talk about this vest on this guy and I will a little bit later see if we, you know, how it's going to look with the vest remove and how easy it's going to be to get it back on. But the vest is awesome. It looks like he's got, I, I want to say those are grenades. They look a little bit large to be shotgun shells. You can, can correct me down in the comments below if I'm wrong and I absolutely could be. Um, but we see those there. But look at the silver of the armor plates on there. Just really really good i love how it just shines you can see the light shining off of it and then you can see all like the scratches and the weathering and the, how worn down that armor is it just looks awesome and then even on the back you see a lot of it too you see a lot of those scratches and, and nicks and everything and dents just crazy looking i love the way it came out looking the rest of the figure is all just kind of gray he's got light grays he's got dark grays it's in the camouflage kind of look it is essentially the same exact figure as that arctic warfare royal guard same knee pad same boots same everything uh, that we see there but this one again has different head sculpts which are pretty cool so we're going to go ahead and swap those out we'll put that one swap this one on they pop on and off very very easily which is great we also get this helmet and i already put like these uh these goggles on there they just clip right on the front there as you could see that you could just port that right on in and then the helmet of course just sits on top of uh the head sculpt like so and then you could use you know the, the that scope and do that like so and the helmet doesn't look too bad a lot of times the 112 scale uh, figures when you have helmets the thickness of the helmet isn't really proportionate to what a real life helmet would be so they end up looking really large on action figures i think this came out looking pretty good as you can see there it's kind of positioned really well uh there so we have that but the highlight of this pack is this additional head sculpt that he comes with and it's got like a gas mask head sculpt and it is so freaking good i like it is ridiculous how good this head sculpt is i mean just look at that the gas mask itself looks awesome, right? But look at the, the translucent plastic uh, lenses in there. And then you can see the face in there. Like, how cool is that? Like, Hasbro's done some of those before. Like, on Marvel Legends, you might see it. I want to say, like, an Ant-Man figure or something had it. But, like, I don't know. It just looks a lot better on this. And I don't know if it's just a combination of the color. Like, that, that orange translucent plastic over the black gas mask something about it just looks really good and then it just kind of blows me away because you can see uh the eyes on the inside you know action force some of the other ones like you have this head sculpt right it's just uh he's wearing goggles it's just you know golden color there steel brigade you know there's no translucent plastic or anything like that you could just see that the visor is just kind of you know gold golden color but yeah this head sculpt with the gas mask really really nice even it has like a flashlight on the side that's painted it's just done really nicely uh i'm a big fan and again i i don't have it but you they actually have like a head pack to where there's like 10 heads there's like five of these and then i want to i want to say maybe five of these ones you know in all the different colors and everything um and it's only like 20 bucks that to me is crazy how good these heads heads really came out so that is awesome you guys let me know your thoughts on what you think of the that helmeted head sculpt 
Okay, and for science, I did mention that I was going to go ahead and do this, and I guess we're going to go ahead and get right into it. We're going to see how easy or hard, difficult it is going to be to get these vests on and off. So they just snap on into the side there. That top one came off nice and easily. This bottom one doesn't want to pop out. Okay, so they just, you know, uh, you know, snap on in there, and then you're going to have to work this. I probably should take that head sculpt off. Um, and then you should be able to just kind of work this out over the arm pretty easily or what I would think would be easy but I seem to be having like extreme difficulties with so let me do this off camera because well maybe I maybe I can get it yeah I'm gonna do it off camera duh the trick is to get the arm up so you, all you got to do is just kind of lift up on the vest uh, like so and then here you see we have the base body um, the camouflage design throughout and again it matches the Republic Guard um, as far as like the same body there so we have the same points of articulation we got the diaphragm cut the ball joint waist and everything so a lot of good mo uh, movement in that torso it is painted throughout which is really nice again vest came off nice and easily I am going to set up the vest and we'll go ahead and see if these things could pop back in nicely together um, without it being on the figure I can actually get them plugged in very easily but you know once we have the tightness of the figure it is going to make it a little bit difficult we'll see if it's going to be easier or hard to get back on all right let's go ahead and see i got the vest back on it was very easy to get that vest on um again the tightness you gotta uh, see it's and it's i don't know if there was an if there truly is an easier way to do that oh actually you know what i got that top one on there nice and snug it's definitely secure on there uh, let's see if we move that belt down a little bit. Maybe I have some room to wiggle with. Uh, see, it's not. So it's 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 definitely easier than that first series. How the 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 Steel Brigade one was. He's got this floating belt piece, which adds a little bit of thickness, and makes it a little bit difficult. But you just have to be able to get the grip in there, and then be able to get this pushed in all the way because you know it's got to kind of get over that little lip there to kind of you know secure in and the bottom one does not want to secure in even though we have like more space for it it's you know it's smaller it doesn't want it just doesn't want to plug in as nicely so i'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time on that Okay, so I'm going to be honest with you guys, because the, the lower torso part is indented as it's a little bit smaller, and the position of that peg hole is right up against this other this other lip part that's a little elevated, it's very difficult to get this pegged back in. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, so shame on me for having removed the vest in the first place, but just a heads up, it's not something that's easily going to be able to get to, to peg back in. The top one you could do very easily. This bottom one, though, next to impossible. Scratch that, I take it back. I was able to get it. And the way I did it is, as you can see, as I try to do, I just used the knife to kind of force it down. Uh, but it worked. I got it in there, so the vest is on nice and snug. It's not going to fall off. Those things aren't going to pop off or anything like that. So have no fear. If you want to remove the vest, you are welcome to, and you can easily get them back on again. The first, the Series 1 Steel Brigade, when I had done it, it was like pulling teeth. It was crazy how difficult it was uh, to get it apart, and it just drove me absolutely insane but let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation on uh, the urban commando in terms of the torso with the vest he's not going to be able to crunch forward a whole lot you get that um, much there you can get him to go back as again the, the the waist is on a ball joint so you can tilt uh, to the right or left and all of that which is good and you still get good ample swivel in there so that's the articulation on this guy when we look at the Republic Guard the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard and we will look at total like articulation it's going to be very similar to like the uh, Steel Brigade that if you guys watch my video there we have all the points of articulation that you could ever ask for head sculpt he looks up he looks down it is on a disc hinge you get full rotation in there not really a whole lot of pivot going on you can get the arm to go straight out uh, that much there you can see full t-pose you can do a full rotation in that arm you get a butterfly joint that goes back a little bit there is some uh, forward for a little bit of crossbody, not a huge amount, but there is some. You got an upper bicep swivel in there, double jointed pinless elbow, so that much bend there at the elbow. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge. The trigger finger hands have the vertical correct hinge. Uh, the rest of the hands have the standard horizontal hinge. We have a diaphragm cut on this guy, so with the ball joint waist and the diaphragm cut, you could tilt all the way to the left. That much, you could tilt all the way to the right. 
that much there. Going back using both, you can lean back quite far. Coming forward, you can go uh, forward that much. So actually, if you think about it, with the vest, it doesn't actually hinder all that much um, you know, compared. So that is pretty crazy. You get a swivel at that diaphragm. You also get a swivel uh, at the waist. There, it, there are drop-down hips. So as you can see, you can lift them, and then you can, you can lower them there. Uh, legs go out that far apart, full splits. You can kick forward very high, which is great. The leg go does go back a little bit. You got an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinless knee. That much bend there at the knee. There is a boot swivel, so you could swivel at the boot. Foot hinges down. You get some hinge up, ankle pivot, peg holes at the bottom of the feet. So all the articulation points that you could want um, in an action figure. All the action force figures got them. Okay, so the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard. We'll get in for a closer look. It follows the same color pattern as the uh, Arctic Steel Brigade, which is cool, kind of the, all the white and the, like the mint greens. Uh, so that is really nice. Again, it's essentially the same body. Uh, we do get additional head sculpts on here. So we get the one there, the lighter skin tone. Here we have the darker skin tone. And then here we've got the goggles. So this could be even more generic troop builder. Oh, you know what's funny is that one, there we go. We have there, there. So you actually don't even see a face, you just see goggles. That could be even more menacing if you want it to be. So three head sculpts on a troop builder pack, only 20 bucks, not too bad. Okay, so here we have the Urban Commando and the G.I. Joe Classified Series by Hasbro, the Firefly. I have seen people use like the Urban Commando as a good stand-in for the Firefly figure. Not that this one's a bad one. There were some bad ones that had extremely loose bodies that just didn't work out real well. Um, Hasbro, with their feet, for whatever reason, they always like want to lean back a little bit. The Action Force seems to be a little bit more sturdy and flat and level. Um, not that either of them are really going to fall down or anything like that, but it's just like a preference. Like if I get them to stand, you can see just the slightest lean back for whatever reason. And I, I have the feet flat. I know that's not what the issue is. Just, I guess the way, you know, it's kind of designed, um, and manufactured. Uh, but here we have those there. Those look really good together. As you can see, they're about the same height, so they're going to work perfectly in scale. So action force, uh, by Valiverse and GI Joe classified series by Hasbro complement each other quite well. You can interchange all the different characters for your display, whether it's just like standard military stuff or GI Joe specifically or action force specifically. If you wanted to, you know, add additional ranks or add in additional troop, uh, troop builders, whatever you want to do, you could do those and they all really work well together. Okay, so here we have the Arctic Steel Brigade and the Arctic Warfare Republic Guard. Essentially, the kind of the same thing. I don't know how the ranking is going to work, how the story works, all the characters, the bios, and things like that. I look at it as Steel Brigade can kind of be like a team leader, and then you can have your infantry of the these um, these Republic Guards or something like that. You could build it out however you want to do. Um, Valiverse Action Force does have like gear pack. So I have the Steel Brigade gear pack because again, I, I'm a big fan of the Steel Brigade. So I have the Steel Brigade gear pack. So when you get troop builders like this guy, you can actually pick up some of the different gear packs. They have a couple of different ones. So you can add on all those additional pieces that would have been all present on a figure. Like you get an extra head sculpt, you get the knife, you get the guns, you get the additional magazines, um, you get these uh, the, the leg straps, so, so the holster and all of that. You can get all that and add it to your troop builders and you can mix and match however you want build out your army the way you want it customize it you have all those different options which is really cool so um, there's different troop builders that you can get it's just this one part of series four with the arctic warfare republic guard and the arctic steel brigade okay there's my review of the two action force figures by valiverse the uh, arctic uh, warfare republic guard and the urban commando part of series four this head sculpt again just like so good look at Look at that, the face inside there. So good, so good. You guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of these two figures? What do you think of the Steel Brigade ones also? Again, big thank you to Big Bad Toy Store for sending these out. Link in the video description below for each one of these figures. They are all in stock right now, as well as a bunch of other Valiverse Action Force figures. So make sure to check it out. Link in the video description below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that bell notification to get notified when all my newest videos go live. And as always, thank you for watching.